Today, we're going to create an avatar that looks and moves like me. We begin by smiling into the camera. I love to smile. Smiling's my favorite. I'm breathing gently for a short second. Is this what breathing looks like? What if I told you that we're on the brink of a technological revolution that extends beyond our smartphones and laptops, diving deep under our very own skin? In this video, we're exploring the fascinating and somewhat alarming world of the Internet of Bodies. By the end of this video, you'll understand how IOB is transforming our existence and the profound implications it has for our privacy, health, and personal autonomy. Let's start. What is the Internet of Bodies, or IOB? Let's start by unraveling the Internet of Bodies. Imagine a world where your watch not only tells you the time, but also how your heart is doing. Now take it a step further. What if devices inside you could communicate directly with the Internet? That's the essence of IOB. It's an extension of the Internet of Things, or IoT. While IoT connects devices like your phone or smart fridge to the Internet, IOB takes it personally, literally. It's about integrating technology into the human body. From chips monitoring your glucose levels to smart lenses that give you real-time information about your surroundings. But why does this matter? IOB is not just a cool gadget trend. It represents a paradigm shift in how we interact with technology. It's about turning your body into a living, breathing, walking data center. It's personal computing taken to its most intimate level. Think of a pacemaker. It's already an IOB device. It keeps your heart beating the right pace and can relay this data back to your doctor. Now, imagine if this data could predict a heart attack days before it happens. That's IOB in action. It's about saving lives, improving health, and possibly making us more than just human. Your body, the data gold mine. Every second, your body is producing a wealth of data. Heart rate, blood pressure, sleep patterns, these are just the tip of the iceberg. IOB devices can tap into this data stream, providing a continuous health record. Imagine a future where your doctor knows you're getting sick before you do. But it's not just about health. Think about athletes using IOB to fine-tune their performance. A runner with an IOB-enabled implant that analyzes muscle efficiency and oxygen use could shave seconds off their time. Or consider a musician with an IOB device that optimizes their sleep and diet for peak creative output. However, this goldmine is also a treasure trove for companies and governments. Your health data could be worth millions to pharmaceutical companies. It could help them develop new drugs or understand diseases better. But here's the catch. Who controls this data? Do you own the information about your heart rate or sleep patterns? There's a quote by mathematician and data science entrepreneur Clive Humby that's often cited. Data is the new oil. In the world of IOB, your body is the oil field. The potential is enormous, both for good and for the challenges it brings. IOB can give you superhuman abilities. When we talk about IOB and superhuman abilities, it sounds like something out of a comic book, doesn't it? But it's not as far-fetched as you might think. IOB has the potential to extend our physical and mental capabilities beyond natural limits. Consider a chip implanted in the brain that enhances memory or even allows for direct internet access. It's like upgrading your brain to have Google built in. This isn't just about being smarter, it's about having a whole new way of interacting with information. And it's not just mental abilities. Physical enhancements are on the horizon, too. Bionic limbs are already a reality, but future IOB devices could offer much more. Imagine exoskeletons that give you superhuman strength, or implants that enhance your senses, like hearing frequencies beyond the normal range. But here's an interesting thought. With great power comes great responsibility. These enhancements could redefine jobs, sports, and even daily life. 
If someone with an IOB-enhanced brain competes in a knowledge-based competition, is it fair to those who don't have such enhancements? The Dark Side of IOB Let's be honest here. Every technology has its risks, and IOB is no exception. The most glaring issue? Cybersecurity. When your body is connected to the internet, the risks aren't just about data breaches, they're about personal safety. Imagine if a hacker could access the IOB device controlling your heart rate or insulin levels. It's a scary thought, but it's a real risk that needs to be addressed. As cybersecurity expert Karen Elizari said, hackers are the immune system of the internet. With IOB, they might become the immune system of our bodies too. Then there's the issue of dependency. What happens when these devices fail? If you rely on an IOB device for critical functions, a malfunction isn't just an inconvenience, it's a life-threatening situation. Moreover, consider the psychological impact. How would knowing that parts of your body are reliant on technology affect your sense of self? And what about the potential for addiction or abuse of enhancement technologies? IOB and Social Change IOB has the potential to create a new dimension of social stratification, dividing people not just by economic status but by their level of technological integration. Imagine a future where IOB-enhanced individuals have access to faster information processing, enhanced physical abilities, or even superior healthcare. They could become a sort of techno-elite, capable of feats far beyond the average human. In contrast, those without IOB enhancements might find themselves at a distinct disadvantage, struggling to keep pace in work, education, and social settings. This division could manifest in subtle yet profound ways. In the workplace, IOB enhanced employees might be more productive or have better problem-solving abilities, leading to a preference for upgraded workers. In education, students with IOB enhancements could learn faster or retain more information, widening the gap in academic achievements. The issue goes beyond mere inequality. It touches on the very essence of fairness and opportunity. As sociologist Zygmunt Bowman highlighted, social inequality is the mirror of the distribution of power. In a world shaped by IOB, Power could become synonymous with technological enhancement, creating a society where the unenhanced are not just less privileged, but potentially powerless. Moreover, these disparities could affect personal relationships and social interactions. Enhanced individuals might form their own social circles, further isolating those without enhancements. It's not hard to imagine a world where social events, dating, and even basic communication are influenced by the level of one's IOB integration. The Privacy Paradox Now, what happens when this powerful tool falls into the hands of those more interested in profit than in human well-being? This isn't just a privacy issue. It's a stark warning about the potential for exploitation and manipulation. Imagine your body's data, a continuous stream of intimate health and lifestyle information becoming a commodity for corporations. These entities could use your data not just to tailor services, but to influence your behavior or decisions. It's a scenario where your biological data could be used to push you to buy certain products, subscribe to specific services, or even manipulate your insurance premiums. The risk extends beyond mere data privacy breaches. What if companies start dictating terms based on your biological data? For instance, insurance companies might offer lower premiums only if you follow a lifestyle they deem healthy, as dictated by your IOB data. Or, employers could monitor your stress levels, using this information to evaluate your job performance or decide promotions. This scenario echoes the fears expressed by novelist George Orwell in his depiction of a surveillance state. However, in the IOB era, surveillance could become more insidious, penetrating the most private aspects of our lives. It's not just about being watched, it's about being analyzed.
evaluated, and potentially manipulated based on the inner workings of your body. International Regulations and Standards As the Internet of Bodies or IOB technology burgeons, its global impact necessitates a closer look at international regulations and standards. How are leading countries around the world responding to this technological wave? And what laws might we need to safeguard against its misuse? Currently, there's a patchwork of regulations, varying significantly from one country to another. In the European Union, the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, offers a robust framework for data privacy, which could extend to IOB data. However, GDPR's focus is more on data protection after collection, not necessarily on the ethics of data collection itself. In the United States, there's no comprehensive federal law specifically governing IOB. Instead, various existing laws like the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, cover aspects of it, especially concerning health data. But these laws weren't designed with IOB in mind, leaving gaps in areas like consumer data protection and cybersecurity. This global disparity in regulations presents a challenge. IOB devices can cross borders easily, both physically and through data transfer, making a unified international regulatory framework essential. Such a framework would need to address 1. Data ownership who owns the data generated by IOB devices. Clear laws defining ownership and usage rights are crucial. Number 2. Consent and Control Users should have a say in how their data is used. Regulations need to enforce clear, informed consent for data collection and sharing. Number 3. Security Standards With IOB devices being potential targets for cyber attacks, international cybersecurity standards are necessary to protect users. Number 4. Ethical Guidelines Beyond legalities, there's a need for ethical guidelines on how IOB technology should be developed and implemented, especially considering potential enhancements and modifications to the human body. Number 5. Equity and Access Law should also ensure that IOB technology doesn't widen existing social and economic divides, ensuring equitable access and preventing discrimination based on IOB usage or non-usage. Now, here's a question for you. If given the chance, would you implant an IOB device to enhance an aspect of your life? Maybe it's to boost your memory, enhance your physical abilities, or constantly monitor your health. What would you choose to enhance and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.